Okay, so I'm going to take you through inchworm walks and what we're looking for. So we're going to start in a standing position. We're going to reach towards the toes. If we can't get to the toes without bending the knees, then obviously we're going to have to bend the knees to get down there. We're going to walk out to a push-up position. From there, we're going to follow the hands with the, or follow the, yeah, hands, sorry, with the feet. So keeping the knees straight, small steps, pushing the hips up till we get a stretch in the calf and the hamstring. If you're tight in the, in the calf and the hamstring, we might only get to there. If you're quite flexible, you might get all the way in. But the key is to stop at the point where you feel like you have to bend the knee. The feet stop there. We walk the hands back out to a push-up position. And then you follow with the feet again. To the same stretch, walk out again. In terms of making that slightly easier, we take out the dynamic component. So you would just do it from here. We walk out to a push-up position. We come back up to your stretch and you walk back out. If you want to make that slightly harder, you can add a weighted vest. 